Hi, I'm Sabine. And I'm Savani. And we are the co-founders of Hidden Compass. And today, journalist Jamie Moy joins us for Behind the Byline as we introduce you to one of the talented storytellers from our magazine. Thank you for joining us, Jamie. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. We're so glad you're here, and we're so happy to talk about your story. Jamie's Human in Nature feature, The Magnificent Mother of Sea Country, gives us a little seen glimpse of the Great Barrier Reef and introduces us to the people who are trying to correct our relationship with this wondrous 600,000-year-old ecosystem. I'm so excited to talk about this story with you, Jamie. And I, I want to start by talking about some of the people that, that Sabine just mentioned. So in your story, we meet Alfred Touche Gray, who is an indigenous land and sea ranger. This isn't something you hear about regularly. So tell us about these rangers and why their role as indigenous stewards is groundbreaking. So in Australia, the government has partnered with First Nations to manage land and water. Um, basically, they do it using a fusion of Western science and traditional knowledge and cultural practices. And then Touche, um, his work and my story also both focus on sea rangers, specifically people doing work on the Great Barrier Reef. Um, but Indigenous rangers are involved in all aspects of natural resource management. In Australia, and that includes things like bushfire management, um, invasive species management, and also things like education in terms of strengthening First Nations language, their culture, and just protecting their cultural heritage in general, which is so beautiful. It really is. And it's amazing to learn more about that in your story. Jimmy, I love how you just delve headfirst into your subject matter and do an incredible and beautiful amount of research. In your celebrated career as a journalist, you've seen tectonic changes to the profession and how the profession is perceived. So as society increasingly devalues journalism or parts of society increasingly devalue journalism, why do you think this type of work matters? Well, tectonic is a great word for it. Uh, so much has changed in my 15 years. I must say though, Sabine, I'm not sure whether we devalue journalism as a society. I just think there's so many other sources of learning and entertainment that are vying for our attention. It's it's more that we're in a state of oversaturation or almost like overwhelm with our content. But I think that when the dust settles, like when we come off our binge watch, we can probably all agree that storytelling, story sharing, these are really fundamental parts of being human. And I think that includes stories not only of ourselves and our everyday lives, but also the bigger picture stories like this one that are gonna broaden our understanding of the world and ideally our place in it. I love that. And I love that perspective on it as well. And the idea that we're, we're currently in a binge watch is, um, <laughs> Both, it feels very accurate and also kind of comical too at the same time, <laughs> but very accurate. And, you know, this is such a, a beautiful story and I'm I'm honored that we got to publish this story. And so for those of you in the audience who are watching this, if you have not read it, go check it out, go read it and note that there are these patronage campaigns that you can contribute to. We look at our relationship uh, as a partnership, not just between us and writers like Jamie, but also with you as the audience. And so with these patronage campaigns, you can show your appreciation for the storytelling that Jamie has done so beautifully. We will split the proceeds of that patronage campaign with Jamie on top of her base pay for the article itself. And so go check it out contribute to the campaign. And Jamie, what would you like to say to anyone who's already contributed? I'd like to say you're amazing. Thank you. I mean, it's one thing to get paid by a publisher to do your job as a journalist, but it's a totally other thing when an individual just opens up their wallet and says, yes, I value this. And I want to be part of ensuring its survival because that's what you're doing. I mean, quite Literally, it's really tough out there for journalists right now. Um, a lot of my colleagues, I write mostly in the outdoor space, they're having to pivot to writing for big outdoor brands or travel outfitters. Um, 
and that pays the bills. And it, I think it's satisfying on some level, but it's not journalism. It's in the service of a corporation, not the general public, not public knowledge. Sorry, I'm on my soapbox here. So I'll step down uh, to the folks who've already contributed to my campaign. I want to say thank you. You inspire me to keep doing this. Well, Jamie, you inspire us. It has been such a joy to work with you. And thank you so much for joining us today. You're so welcome. And thank you everyone for watching.